you'll have a, a group of Centaurum mercenaries. The difference between those and the regular guardsmen is the Centaurum have both melee weapons and bows, whereas the other units uh, don't have range attacks other than the archers. Uh, the Brig and the Earth are sort of uh, light troop elite drag commandos. And is that everything? There's the Centaurum, there's the guardsmen. Yes. Uh, so you can split units if you like, but no, you can split them in half, but you can't split them further down than that. Uh, they don't. So if you're fighting a unit, don't do an auto cast because they don't have hit points. They have a, a unit size which is a lot smaller. <coughs> it it shows as eight hit points, but that's because of the way that it calculates the the unit size. So if you like cast magic missile, there it's like, yeah, I've just killed the entire unit. Right, enough <laughs> talking from me. Is there anything? you want to do or anything you want to put in place you've had a few days to sort it out like i said they've got the temporary barricade set up every so often down the street so that units can fall back and the bonfires set up in the streets to provide light there's also covered lights all the way around the walls very well Mm -hmm. we need to take this quite seriously we have a few choices i will speak and then if you agree or disagree, please say now, because this is going to be important. Firstly, are we set on defending this place, or should we cut and run? <coughs> Stay and fight. Oh, my God. Everybody cut and run, and the DM kills you. Um, personally. Yeah, it's fine. No, no, no. It, it, it's it's role-playing. If you want to leave after I've spent 16 hours of <laughs> preparation on this, it's fine. Uh, Richie's like, Earl's in my group, anything could happen. <laughs> Earl, you are struck by lightning, you are killed. <laughs> now, what do the rest of you want to do? I will just stop sitting in the bath on top of the hill screaming, all gods are bastards. The bath is <laughs> cut and it's filled with water. All right, come on. So we are agreed that we will fight, yes? Um, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yes. If we are going to fight, we will win. <laughs> Which means we have to make some allowances. I have had an idea. Excellent. Why don't we get um, our drow friends to pretend to be drow mercenaries hired by Sengar? Therefore, they don't have to be t- pretend to be anything but drow. It will cause division in the ranks, I think. The best thing we can do with them is keep them secret and then wait until the enemy attack at night. Douse our lights and watch them rip them apart. The only problem is two of the armies coming at us, one of them is full of undead which I believe can are not affected by the darkness. But undead are stupid. So <clears throat> an idea I have is we the... can barricade the streets to make kill zones. Then all of the archers occupy the buildings with the doors blocked down, <coughs> buckets of sand to put out fires. Then we mine one of the overlooks. Now, the thing is, we will need good information. That's your job, Sash. I want the best scouts you can find including from the drow, out watching. The sooner we know what we're facing, the better. I believe the dragon should be employed to kill their big beds, not their troops. The undead I am not so worried about. If we kill, if we're attacked by skeletons and zombies, then the zombies and skeletons should be destroyed quite easily by the cavalry charge. They are susceptible to blunt weapons, am I right? Yeah. yeah. There's I've not much blunt well. than a war horse. Do the cavalry have maces? The cavalry do not. The cavalry have lances Lances. and swords. Then we should give them some clubs, since we have time to prepare. This this posh uh, like veteran cavalry is like. I'm sorry, I do. We're not going to uh, run around with sticks. To drag you off your horse and eat your face. Uh, The uh, no skeleton stand up for a a charge from the lances. What? Very well, Captain. When you return, we will see if any of your men wish to be equipped with maces. We are there are blacksmiths in town. Yes, there are. Yes, there's a. I want every mace in town that is not currently being used by someone to be made available to the horses. Your men will not hesitate to carry them just in case. Surely. You will humour me on this? No, certainly not. Well, uh, we can certainly issue them, yes. Very well. The cavalry are, are a central defence. Once we in, use the streets to get the undead into one area, the cavalry will charge them and we will attack as a group against any more powerful undead. Does anyone else agree with this or disagree? Please. Yes, we up. need. St- we, as our party, oh, needs to steer together as a group or no split. No, for definite. We need to be in touch. This is. A, I agree. I believe the best place for Sash is in the bell, the giant tower. He has extremely good eyesight and can pick off enemies. If we can take down the command of either of the armies first, which would be unlikely, it will give us a massive advantage. Two things. As Sash got 
message. I do not know how he would communicate, but he has a very loud voice. Well, we might need a runner in the building then to get him to shout down, come Very towards well. us. And certainly, can we not just turn everybody into a turtle? Because that seems to be working quite well for us <laughs> recently. That is not the worst that we've ever had. What we should do is have runners uh, assigned to Sash. Sash puts scouts out for five miles in all directions. I want to know as soon as the enemy are coming, and I need a rough guess. No, the here. Numbers. No, the enemy. Here the now. enemy's hero. Oh dear. When we when we finished the last thing, uh, the alarm bells mm-hmm. from the south gate started ringing, and the cliffhanger was the dead. The dead are here. So the undead are coming from the south. Yeah, good, from the, the master of the dead. So right, what I need to know. So we hold the gate. We don't let them in straight away. We try to resist them at the gate. Yes. Right. Well, I want right. to know, Earl, is where are you deploying the brig and the earth? Because I just stuck them on the uh, Isle, Isle Island for now, because obviously there's ships out that way. Uh, and the Zentaran, where, where are they deployed? Because you initially were going to send them up the coast. Um, do you still want to do that plan, or do you want to deploy them somewhere else? Well, Earl has struck a deal with the Brig and the Earth that if any of the town's folk say that they're drow, then they, they have to be murdered and disappeared. And Earl was quite fine with this. If I would do it the we can't time. use them until night, wouldn't it be best using them to get the dragon, to message the dragon? Uh, it is night. Um, I, I, right, so they've arrived at night. It's an, okay. hour, it's an hour till dawn. <laughs> it's raining and uh, over, overcast, uh, a little stormy even. If we could joy. You do realise that um, the south wall stops in the middle of the beach. They could just go around it. And there is an area there full of pools. It would probably be excellent for archers to position in those houses. It's the path of least resistance, but they will be bogged down. Well, we if we to... the houses... If, if we're going to hold them at the gate, then shouldn't the archers be on the initial walls? Yes. With plans to fall back to... Yes, and, and we hold the gate for as much as possible so the archers can... The Zentarum will take the town, the area, the other side of that bog since they can rain missile fire down on anything coming through the bog and then engage it in melee. So you want, you want the Zentarum over by uh, the local pub? <clears throat> yes. Defend anybody, the pub with your <laughs> life. If anybody's got any lightning magic, electricity magic, it might be worth down there because they could electrocute the pools and you might get a, a few more. Good plan. The mine, where are we putting it? The hill to the northwest looks good. Well, it's, it's on a cart with Andy at the moment. I wasn't sure if he wanted to deploy it somewhere. That's up to you, Andy. Uh, you have the instruction manual. Or whether you wanted to ride Helter Skelter through the streets with it ticking on the back of a cart, which seems like a great idea to me. I Let's cannot say we're going to try and deploy it. Fun. Also, how effective are cavalry in a street? Well, on the Not main true. street, they'd be all right because there's... Um... Yeah, between the two gates, but that's possibly about it. We can have them hold back and then charge. The Can I move these units or do you do it, Rich? Well, the, the, the units, right, were garrisoned, so you can't have units on alert 24 hours a day. So they're garrisoned near the centre of town at the moment, and they're not deployed. Again, with this entire room, they're, they're not fully deployed. Uh, and they, uh, for no reason whatsoever, okay, uh-huh. I, I'm going to give you a, a, a fireball, a 40-foot fireball token um, <laughs> to represent <Okay>. the <laughs> to represent the box. <clears throat> Um, what I've always wanted. Yeah, so 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 that represents the uh, the boom box. So there's a nice hill to south on on the base. With, you know, so they try to head round that boom box would make a mess of them. Yeah. Well, I, I, so do we know where the other army is? No. No. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, this this is the thing. Two armies, one mine. They should be coming from. I would have. Think, which which yeah. army do we think is going to be easier, the undead or the? Storms. The undead are mindless, most of them. If we can kill the more intelligent undead, they will be easier. They can be lured. That makes sense. Well, I think because um, Neverwinter's garden, the road from the, at the north, that I would expect Talas will probably be coming at, um, the west gate, towards the west gate. Well, there's a, a small undefended gate to the northeast, which leads through the woods, <clears throat> but Dave has had the scouts out laying traps and punji sticks and whatever for the last few days. Uh, there's the North Road, which is coming from Neverwinter, and there's also 
quite a large waterfront. Uh, the last time you met the Talos priests who they attacked, little on they had a control, a great control of water. And they were, because if you remember, they partially flooded it the first time. Oh, I forgot about all of that. In that case, the brigand death are probably in the best position. Maybe we should move them onto the docks into those warehouses. Yeah, that puts them close to the population when light happens. We can happens. move the population no! out. I assume that people are doing as they're told. If the captain, if the sergeant is still in command, he is now dead. No, he's not. He's dead. gone. He has, he has stepped down. He was yeah. persuaded. That was wise. So you want the brigand death to be in the warehouses, not on the island. Yeah. Yes, and ready to ass- to assist. The levies are guarding the north and south gate. The rest of them will take a few minutes to grab the gear, suit up, uh, and run towards the south gate. Unless there's any specific orders you've given, you've given this entire orders to hold the, the south coast yes. and the brigand earth to hide out in the docks. Okay, Andy, what are you doing with the mine? As you're the only one who's actually read the manual and uh, sort of understands how it goes. <coughs> How long do I think the fuse is? You can set the fuse apparently anywhere between uh, 30 seconds and 5 minutes. Right. It's got a clockwork timer that counts down, and then when the timer counts down, that has a little lighter, that light, a zipper lighter that lights the fuse, and the fuse goes off within 10 seconds. So as long as you've got the clockwork timer going, you're all right, <coughs> allegedly, because we know how. Yeah. F- yeah. Because, you know, you could just have one or the other, but it's a norm, so why wouldn't you? Gee, guys, it's the best of both worlds. It's clockwork and it's a fuse. We are going to die. We have scouts out in the other directions, yes? Uh, yeah, you've got sk- seagull scouts out. I would have thought crows and ravens would have been better because they're smart. Well, he said seagulls. Um, so, Andy, I- are you just keeping it on the cart or are you want to deploy it in a particular position for the time being? <clears throat> No, I'll keep it on the cart for the for the time being, unless anybody's got any any specific plan they want for it, uh, and we'll use it as a quick reaction force. Yeah, the only the I, only if, problem you may have with that is getting an animal to uh to drag the cart towards a large troops of enemies, but I'm sure you'll come up with something. Basically, can turn it into a horse or a red hot poker. <coughs> don't turn I don't think Brissy can turn it into a red hot poker. That's more of a uh, wizard spell. You know, like a turn into a horse. I have seen the video. We uh, should we keep should it we... and the cavalry at the T junction near the docks, so they can act as a rapid reaction force in any direction. Yeah, yeah, that that should be okay That's for me. Okay, right. So everybody's on the map. Um, Rick and we rabber in, oh. the, in the pub. I've got a couple of things that I'd like to. See, if, see what the lads think about. Yeah, I'm worried about the docks, like you said off last time. <clears throat> the the wooden like set of steps, which is going from east to west, and it's got the two ones actually going down at the jetties. Is there any other way? Because it looks like on the west side, there's a small little gap where you might be able to get around. Uh, at the northwestern end. Yes, yeah. beside the, uh, the 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 two big gates. Earl, Earl can split this entire room into two, but obviously that halves their unit size. No, no. Well, all, all I'm thinking of is if they're going to come in, is there no way we can barricade anywhere they could get up? So the only way they could get normally would be up the steps and then barricade the steps. So, you know, so people we can let people in and out, as, as I was saying. And if our troops need to retreat, but if, that's, if we block everything else off, that's the only way they're going to be able to get up there. You know, they're not going to be able to climb up the, up the cliff and stuff like that. Well, they've got temporary barricades set up. You, you've had a couple of weeks. If you want them to barricade it off with uh, sandbanks or whatever you like. Well, I, th- I think it's it's good to let you know to try and funnel them in the only two places where they can get up. It's easier to if defend. We, if we've had a couple of weeks yeah. to prepare, why don't we just take the steps down, remove them all together? Well, or maybe trap them. Uh, well, okay, uh, poss- possibly well, remove. Uh, at the moment, the brig and the earth are in the uh, town hall. That's the town hall. Is the uh, the large building? That's what I mean. We need somewhere, unless, of course, we're just plus. We, uh, yeah. we'll, f- we'll make a little bridge from the town hall going straight onto the, the top little rampart. If you take the steps down, uh, we Rab and Rick can't get to the pub. We can't go to the pub. The pub will come to us. Maybe we should get out of the pub. I don't like saying that often, but. <laughs> 
Right, well, you currently, you currently, like I said, it's more abstract, so don't worry about moving units about too much. Is Plus, it? the the north, the north <clears throat> to the northeast where the forest is. Um, oh, the dragon's not a fire breathing dragon, is it? You've got Lightning. no, you've got absolutely no idea. Uh, the dragon, the, dragon. The, the the bronze dragon, the one on your side, uh, doesn't light. breathe fire; it breathes lightning because it fired lightning at you. That might not hurt if he can breathe it in the water if they've attacked us. Mm, I just wonder if they'd be aware to maybe set the forest on fire. Well, it is raining, so it'll be very difficult. <clears throat> um, I've got... I can use Fergamagy to make my voice three times louder, and I could, like, put light cantrips on um, my arrow heads so I could see over there and fire the lighted arrow in the direction of um, any trouble. Good plan. That's good. Yeah, very bad right, so Dave, fire, where are you? Uh, right, there's a, uh, the the ballast. Tower. You're in the tower, okay? You're up there, Dave. The baluster yep. from Fandolin is there. Who who's who's crew in that? Is it just the the Leilon guardsmen or the it, two norms? I would have thought the two. You want the two norms to crew it? Yeah. Well, uh, we've we've never been in combat with a dragon before, but uh, we'll give it a go. Yeah. Dragon to our the dragon side. Hour. <laughs> do not shoot the dragon. It is our dragon. Don't, don't shoot the dragon. Yes, I got it. No, no shooting the dragons. Oh, no, no it's a bronze dragon. 